Hey there, it's James from Honor. Today I'm going to be trying something extremely stupid. I am going to be putting my GS Pro into this. You may have seen a video from Honor in the last couple of days dangling a GS Pro on the end of a fishing line in some extremely cold water. I saw that video and I thought, I'm going to give it a go. The GS Pro has a military standard 810G classification, which means that it should be strong enough to withstand extreme temperatures, high and low, altitude, dust, variety of different things. However, this is a 250 pound watch that I'm about to put into this water. But I have every faith that this is gonna be fine. So let's see what actually happens. I have got my GS Pro in white. I have got my child's fishing rod. Yep, yeah, that's, that's freezing. Ooh, it's cold. Let's tie the GS Pro to my fishing rod. What could possibly go wrong, right? Please do not try this at home. I don't want to be held accountable for you throwing your personal possessions into a stream to see whether or not they still work. You know what I mean, don't do it. Just like the spangly video that went up on the internet, here's my version. Yeah, so there's my GS Pro. Let's see what actually happens. Please. Please still work afterwards, or <laughs> I've got a lot of explaining to do. Okay, here we go. I definitely wouldn't want to be on the end of this right now. It is so cold in there. When I was thinking about doing this trick, I was going to throw it in and then try and get it back, and then I saw how deep it was and thought, maybe not. It's been in for about a minute now. Let's see whether it survives. And, yep. Everything's still working. I'll try the buttons. Yep, everything is working as it should do. There you go, how tough is that? Oh, it's soaking wet, it's cold. Come fish with me. It's getting a proper soaking now. Let's have a look. Everything still works. Not a scratch. So it's telling the truth. I sure as hell wouldn't want to go into that water because it is freezing. But the watch survived. Not a dent, not a scratch. It's all good. Just for clarity, please do not do this at home. Not that you probably have a stream running through your house, so that doesn't make much sense right now. Please do not do this at home. Let a seasoned expert such as myself ruin his watch himself. But throwing their personal belongings into a watery grave. Let me be the idiot who will try that for you. Please do not try this at home. Thank you.